coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next SDL 2.0 tutorial and this tutorial is a very important tutorial. We're going to be learning about timers and frames per second. It is extremely vital uh, that you learn this so that your computer runs this, your game, sorry, runs the same across every, um, the same on every single device, right? Now in the last tutorial we had a, we had, we had a big problem and the big problem was that we were assuming that the computer was refreshing at 60 frames per second and uh, so we assumed that if we said okay frame times greater than or equal to 15 then it was uh, gonna update four times a second and so um, we're good yeah so then basically what if your computer was at uh, 30 frames per second if, if this was our code and we distribute I distributed it to you guys and your computer was refreshing at 30 frames per second right then this would update only twice instead of four times right and let's say you're running at say 120, 120 uh, frames per second rather than 60 frames you would update we would refresh twice as fast therefore your animation would be moving twice as fast and as you can see when you go across different um, computers and different devices and so on and so forth you get a whole bunch of different um, you get a whole bunch of different speeds and so how do you regulate it so that your game runs the same on every single computer no matter what the specs of the computer is uh, and this is what we're going to be uh, learning in this tutorial so what we're going to do is we're going to change frame time to float and we're going to have an int and we're going to say previous time set it to zero and we're going to have current time and we're going to set that to zero Sorry, I just got a phone call, but um, to continue where I left off, so we want to make a float called delta time, and delta time stands for uh, change in time, and we're just going to set that to zero. And so what we want to do at the very top of our game loop, we want to say previous time is equal to current time, and we want to say current time is equal to SDL get ticks. So this is a uh, it's a new function that we're learning about and what get ticks does is it returns the amount of milliseconds it returns the amount of milliseconds since you've been running your uh, since somebody's been running your your application or your game and so uh, what it does is that it continuously gives you the amount of second the amount of milliseconds and so on and so forth and if you're wondering whether you'll get a stack overflow error don't worry about it this will run for literally f approximately 49 days and then it will reset itself back to zero so you won't get a, an error uh, running this even if you have a crazy person that's trying to run your application for days straight and not closing it um, but yeah so anyways what we're gonna do is we're gonna say okay we delta time is equal to current sorry current time minus previous time divided by a thousand f thousand point zero f now what are we doing here well as I said this gives the it gives us the milliseconds since the game has been running so if it's been running for half a second it'll give us 500 milliseconds if it's been running for a second it'll give us a thousand milliseconds but we divide it by a thousand because we want to know from this frame to from from this frame minus the, the previous frame, we want to know how much milliseconds have passed, and we divide it by a thousand because we want the value represented as decimals, and you'll see why we want it to be um, seen as decimal values later on. So what we're gonna do instead of saying frame time plus plus every single update, we're gonna say frame time plus equals delta time, and so. Um, and if we want to if we want to update it say four times a um, a second we're gonna say 0.25 f so what's what's going on here so we're basically saying okay if you're running at 60 if you're if you're let's just say that your computer updates um, a one time a second okay one time a second and my computer is slower so it updates one time every two seconds okay so the, say the, the change in time for your computer will be one right since the last frame it it updated once 
So then, when every every single second frame time is gonna be add, we're gonna add one to frame time. Now my computer that is twice as slow as yours is updating once every two seconds. So the change in time since the last update is two seconds or two thousand milliseconds, right? But when we divide it by a thousand, we get the value two. So then we're gonna say okay, frame time plus equals two. So in the end, no matter how fast or slow your computer is, it's going to be updated in the same amount of time. You update once a second, okay, for uh, uh, one second it goes frame times equal to one. Um, updates again, frame times equal to two. Okay, so for my computer, one second passes, it doesn't update. Second time, okay, now it updates, delta time set to two, so frame times equal to two. So at the two second mark, we both have the exact same frame time value yeah i might experience some lag but nonetheless we have the exact same value and so we will update at the at the exact same time right and so sometimes when you see the lag yeah it might for example if we reach this if you're on a really slow computer yeah it might take forever to reach this method this if statement right here and so it'll take some time to actually update the animation but everything in the game world and everything is affected by this frame time and everything in the world is um moves at the the exact same rate that the rate that it's supposed to so now let's um now let's uh, let's do something interactive with our image right so let's just say okay else if uh ev dot type is equal to sdl key down and we're gonna put switch uh, ev key this long thing and then we're gonna say okay case uh sdl k and we're gonna press the right button and we're gonna say player position dot x plus or oh, let's just say it's plus equals and let's have a move speed value so um let let's say uh let's make a float and we're gonna say move speed and let's just say our move speed is a hundred okay so that's our move speed and we say a hundred plus equals move speed so what is the problem with this program right now the problem is that if my computer moves twice as fast when you press right you're going to be moving twice as fast or you're going to be move, you're going to move across the screen faster what we want is that if you set the move speed at 100 every single second we want the player to move 100 pixels whether it's um whether whether they're on a slow computer or fast computer so how do we do this we mod we multiply the move speed by the change in time and so this is what happens so let's just say we want to move uh we want to move 100 pixels every single second okay so let's use the same thing again your computer updates uh every second my computer updates every two seconds so and when you update it's gonna say okay move speed right which is 100 times one right because every single second the change in time is one so every single time you update your your player is going to be moving 100 pixels for me my computer is twice as slow as yours so when i run it every two seconds it's going to say okay move speed multiplied by delta which will be the value two so every two seconds my player will move it was moved 200 spaces yeah you'll see kind of a jump and a skip um, in the program because your computer is too slow to run it but at the same time you'll be at the same position that as the other person with the fast with the fast computer so therefore no matter how fast or slow the computer is you'll be at the same position no matter what so what you want to do is any value that any value that has something to do that will be game altering based on the speed of the person's computer or whatever you always want to mul you always want to multiply it by the change in time and so you can do the same thing with the left and right and so on and so forth but we'll just leave it at that for now so uh, let us run this program and we we'll run it and then as you can see we're moving we're moving at um, at 100 pixels per second so if you were to 
uh, sit down and calculate it every single second we should be moving a 100 pixel so so if you want to move twice as fast you'd say okay let's switch the move speed to two uh, to 200 now as you can see whenever you press a button and you hold it you, you see a stutter and uh, we're going to be learning about how to get rid of that I don't know if we're going to be learning about that in the next tutorial but we will be learning on how to get rid of that for movement but uh, this is basically it for um, this is basically it for uh, frame rate and frame time and, and timers so basically this is what you need to do in order to run your game the same on every single computer so if i was to distribute this code to you or to any of my friends i know that no matter how fast or slow the computer is this is going to move the exact same speed and be at the exact same position no matter what so that's basically it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to like my page on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and also sign up on my website. So anyways, uh, that's it, and bye for now.